look at this a glorious herbal drying rack. It's actually a clothes drying rack that I use to dry my clothes. But at this very moment, it is serving a beautiful function of drying herbs. And I want to encourage you to look for creative ways to dry herbs. What do you have in your house that you can use? This is a great example of what sits in my living room. And right now also is a great time to go out into the landscape and find those plants, all that mint, all that lemon balm, perhaps some comfrey leaf. I should say that in our area, we have not had frost. And so that means that these plants are still pretty vigorous and beautiful hoping that you can also tap it before frost. And so the drying situation here, just to add a note, it may not be peak medicine moment for everything out there. That's okay. These herbs, which I'm going to go into in a moment, are really about fattening the herbal tea larder. So getting the tea herbs on point. And then also the comfrey leaf is in its perfect, beautiful medicine moment, and that's being dehydrated or dried and will be put into an herbal infused oil. So uh, what we have on the rack here, we have uh, sacred basil, we have lemon verbena, we have lemon balm, we have comfrey, we have sage, which just reminds me too, if you have culinary herbs out there that you haven't harvested yet, do it. Get them in so that you have this beautiful culinary herb collection that you've grown and dried. So let's get into some specifics about drying. You want to have a low humidity that can be created by a wood stove and it can also be created by a dehydrator, which I'll show you in a moment. It can also be created. Well, the, the other thing that you want is good airflow. So that's a fan that's hopefully being able to hit the plant material so good airflow is happening. All of that helps to dry the plants to prevent mold. The air temperature, typically you want it to be 85 or higher, maybe 100. It's not going to get that hot here. So what's happening here in October in, in this mid-fall moment is we have the wood stove on and the air temps are probably in the 70s or the high 60s and the air gets dry. So it will take a few days to dry this, maybe three or four days. If I wanted to quicken, right, I want to make the uh, dehydration of the plant material happen more quickly, I can use this dehumidifier and I could tuck it underneath and put it on and you're going to see it has a fan option as well. And that fan blows through the plant material, but also you can just put another little fan on it just to blow like so. You can also rotate this around through the day so it's hitting different parts of the drying rack. Let me turn that off. That will speed up the drying process. The whole idea is just to make a nice, gentle, steady drying action happen, prevent mold. Okay. What else is going on? Let's just show you quickly that if you harvest plants in this manner, where there's a lot of branch action, you can hang the plant very easily like so. So it just sits like that. If you're drying comfrey leaves, then you want to use rubber bands or string so that you can attach it to the drying rack and it goes like so. If you have bundles, let's say you, um, the plant material like the sacred basil stalks here that I have are not very um, branched at this point, this. And so I'll take a bundle and I will use my rubber band or string, tied string, and then that's how I'll hang it in this little bunch. So it goes like that. So if you have flowers or if you have leaves that are separated from their stalks, then really you can't use this technique. Then you're going to use something like this, which is this will serve as a, a drying surface. It has, it's a, it's a good porous basket and, but yet tight enough that nothing will fall through. And then you would dry your plant material on this and set it up high somewhere. And the same conditions of good airflow, low humidity and temps that are hopefully in the eighties, but that's not the case, as I said before, and I'm going to use the dry air of the wood stove that we're heating the house with to dry these herbs. And that'll happen probably in hmm, three to four days. And if I don't feel that it's happening, I will turn on my dehumidifier and run it underneath. So it will both dry the air out under the plant material, plus it will blow air, you know, with the use of the fan function. May this inspire you <laughs> to bring in the herbal bounty into your life. 
to bring it into your living room perhaps to get creative with drying herbs they're out there right now tap that bounty happy drying and if you've enjoyed this and you'd like more check out my online course wild food health boosters and herbal remedies at wildfoodhealthboosters.com see you next time